Now I know your OB is about to start talking to you about getting the RSV vaccine, so here are all the things that you have to know. So RSV is a respiratory virus that is particularly harmful to infants and young children. It's actually the number one cause of hospitalizations in infants. In 2023 though, we got the vaccine called Abrizo. Initially this was for older patients, but then it was also approved for pregnant people. Abrizo is given to pregnant patients between 32 and 36 weeks, in between September and January, or peak RSV season. Now obviously the biggest benefit to getting vaccinated is protecting your baby from getting RSV. A large multi-center, multi-country phase 3 randomized control study showed that maternal vaccination reduces the rate of severe medically attended RSV infections in infants under 6 months old. Further Cochrane reviews, including 18,000 patients, showed that maternal vaccination decreased the rate of hospitalization for infants by 50%, or about 11 less hospitalizations per 1,000 infants. Now, the risks of getting the RSV vaccine in pregnancy include the potential increase in rates of preterm labor and hypertensive disorders like preeclampsia, although those findings were not statistically significant in studies. The most common adverse reactions are either local reactions like redness at the injection site or systemic findings like a headache, nausea, or muscle aches. For most pregnant patients, the benefits of getting maternal vaccination are going to outweigh those risks, especially when the vaccine is given between 32 to 36 weeks during peak RSV season. Now, the alternative to getting the maternal vaccination is something called nirsevimab. This is a long-acting monoclonal antibody that's given directly to the infant. This provides direct immunity to the baby while avoiding those potential risks of preterm labor. It may also offer more sustained antibody levels to your baby. Risks here, of course, are that the infant gets an injection and there may be limited availability in some settings. I hope this gives you a little bit more insight in the RSV vaccine. I personally wish that I had had this available when I was pregnant and I'm thrilled that we now have this option for our pregnant patients and their babies.